And the hits just keep on coming this week. Uh, we're back with some more mail. Super fast. Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition. Uh, Fantastic Creatures. So I'm going to assume that this is based on the Fantastic Book. Fantastic Beasts movie series. And um, see what we got now. We can see here a lot of things from the movie. We got the Fwooper and the Moon Calf and some Bow Truckles, Baby Niffler. There's the Akami along with Tina, and there's the Demi guys hiding down there. And then there's the Yurumpet with um, Jacob, and then we have Queenie and uh, the Thunderbird. So pretty cool. And then here we have the is it Yaoi? I can't remember remember the name of that one. The Weird Lion. And then we have the um, Nagini here on the bottom. So. There's that. Um, so their boxes are always pretty cool, uh, the actual boxes. Um, I think the last time I got a box from them, from them was the, I was a little bit disappointed. So I'm, I have high hopes for this box. I'm hoping they can redeem themselves, but there's only one way to find out. So there's what it looks like. We'll see what we have in here. So here's our little Circus Arcanus. I'm going to assume that this is, yeah, that looks like the cheat card. So we will set that to the side and go with what we see. So first off, we're going to go with this. Uh, I'm going to assume this is a baby Niffler. He has a little pouch right here and in his pouch, a little, I think these are the, I think Lit Joy is the one that does the spell coins. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be a spell coin. So let's see what we got. Yep, and here we go. So there's the spell up and down in a triangle, and the spell is Expelliarmus, the disarming chill spell. If only I could speak tonight. So uh, the coin is whatever, same as I've always said, not really for me, but I do enjoy that they tucked it right in the little pouch of the Niffler. Um, I'm not really a stuffed animal kind of person, but... Um, I don't know, it kind of looks like a duckbill platypus too. But I guess the Nifflers kind of look like a tough duckbill platypus as well. So I don't know if this guy will find a home in here or not, or I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I know a little girl that would like to uh, cuddle this when she goes to sleep. So we'll see what happens, but uh, not a bad start. I don't know where to put him. It's, it's a little dusty in here. I don't want to make him dirty. So, all right. And then it looks like we have some socks. Um, how can I open them? There we go, all the way at the bottom. I'm sure that sounds lovely. So here we have the Newt Scamander logo and these are gray and brown. They just look like they're striped. I'm not sure if he wears these particular socks in the movie if they're just made to look like um, his various coats and the scarf and everything. So maybe the cheat sheet will tell me more, but um, not bad. It, they do have a small little Lit Joy logo. Do they have a, a Newt Scamander logo? Yeah, yeah, they do. So there we go. Get that open. So. so we have the small little Newt Scamander logo on each side of the sock. So not bad. Uh, those will make it into my sock drawer. Will I ever wear them? I don't know. I don't really wear those kind of uh, socks that often. So let's see, where should we start? Well, first off, we have some little baby Niffler fur floating around in there. So it must have been a rough ride coming from Utah for this guy. And this looks intriguing, so we'll go with this next. It's a small brown box, and it's made to look like a trunk. It has the, the little uh, corner braces on the sides, so... Let's see what's inside this magical little trunk. I don't quite know what this is. I think this might be nesting dolls, which <laughs> I, I don't know what to think of that. So there's definitely something inside. You can see we have a Thestral on the outside. Thestral looks pretty cool. Let's see, can we open? I don't quite know. Does it even open? I don't know. It, 
I don't know what this is. I don't want uh, there's definitely a line there. There's definitely a break. I just don't know. It doesn't really want to move. So we're just going to set that to the side and we'll come back to it when we find out what exactly it is in the cheat sheet. Um, so here we go. Nice cool little box. The Lit Joy Wand Shop. Makers of fine wands since 2016. So not bad. I like their I like their little box here. It definitely fits in with uh, the magical world. So let's see if I know whose wand we have. There's a card. So we got some foam. I think this might be an original wand because I definitely don't recognize it. But it is a a small wooden wand which with what appears to be a snake twirled around it. You can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but there's a small little snake head right here on the top. And it has this ball, this almost like, it's the way it has, I can't tell if those are stems, but um, it almost looks like a little crystal ball, but it's black. So we're going to put that back and see if I can't fish that card off the floor and see if we can get some information about it. Okay. Wand properties. Hornbean wood, 10 inches long, horned serpent horn core, unyielding. So it's very hard to read. It looks handwritten, but obviously it's printed. Um, so pretty cool that um, they put that much effort into it. However, I'm not sure what to think of it because I don't know if it's character wand, if it's an original wand. Again, I guess we're going to have to go with the cheat sheet. It's a good thing they uh, included it because there's a lot of questions that I have. So we have one more box in here and it came bubble wrapped. And um, okay, it looks like Akami scales. And there we have the Akami chasing the uh, ladybug. So Lit Joy exclusive teapot. So I guess uh, we know what we see here. Uh, I mean, I suppose that would make sense since the Akami does go into the teapot and that is indeed what it is so and there we have the akami chasing the uh ladybug right there on top of the teapot and it's on both sides let me see if i can't pop this little lid open and and there we go. So we have a small little, definitely ceramic, uh, teapot. I assume it's a real working teapot. I seriously doubt I will ever get any use out of this. So while I understand it, it's, it's not my cup of tea. I should probably end the video right there. It's not going to get any better than that. Uh, so put that and see what kind of paper things we got down here. So we have a little art print. Fantastic creature box with Newt and some of his fantastic creatures. So not bad. They always do good art prints I always uh, enjoy the artwork they come up with um, And then we have the bookmark. They seem to always include these small little bookmarks um, Which are like those uh, Those photo booths from the 80s the 90s. I remember seeing them didn't really use them but I know what they are. I don't know if m many people nowadays are uh, find them still around. But um, so we have. It looks like Newt, Newt and Lita Lestrange, and Newt dis and Lita discovering all of Newt's creatures in his case. So that's a uh, somewhat related to the movie. So not bad. I don't really use these as bookmarks, but uh, an extra little piece of um, of our work is never. Uh, this it's never I don't know what uh, so here's another advertisements Lunicorns live among us this is for their their paid subscription I think you get like you're able to order early or something like that I don't know I, I don't pay for it but that's fine so overall um, not terrible let's see what we have for this Circus Arcanus book so First thing we have, the Akami Teapot. Uh, teapot holds 16 fluid ounces and comes in a gorgeous designed box. So, not bad. We have our collectible Expelliarmus coin, the plush Niffler, 
Um, he's also a skillful escape artist. Check the nearest bank. Okay. The Nagini Wand. So it's inspired by the snake herself and it's a unique addition to my collection. So it's not a a character wand. I don't think it Nagini. I don't know if she has a wand in the movie. I don't recall that. So we're going to go with it's a unique thing. And then we have Newt's, Newt's suitcase photo strip. We just showed that. The Newt's scarf sock. So they are made after his scarf, which I thought was just like an old-timey Hufflepuff scarf. So, okay. Fantastic feet and how to cover them. And then we have the Fantastic Creatures nesting dolls. Uh, um, so let's see if we can open that up. So now that I know it comes open, let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I have any screwdrivers or anything. Oh my. Well, they are certainly are going to stay nested. This certainly is embarrassing. Well, I think I'm going to have to insert when I actually got them open and filmed what they look like right now. Well, my goodness, that was incredibly difficult. I had to get a screwdriver and go around that whole thing and actually pry it open. That is a snug, snug fit. I mean, wow. Okay, I was not pulling that open by hand. But so on the outside one, we have the Thestral. And right inside that, we had the Moon Calf, which again, very, very tough to, to get open. But inside that, we had the Demi Guys. And then inside that, we had the Niffler. And then inside the Niffler, which was the only one I could open with my hand, we had the boat chuckle. So there they are. Boat boat chuckle inside the niffler. Niffler inside the demi guys. Demi guys inside the moon calf. And the moon calf inside the thestral. Which I don't I'm scared to even push this back together. I mean look at that. I can't even push it together. It's so tight. But, um, so, yeah, <laughs> those are the nesting dolls. <laughs> Always something, making my job harder. Okay, and I'm back here. And so, overall thoughts of the box. Um, I'm kind of in the same th frame of mind as I was with the last LitJoy box. They're not bad items, but they're just not great items. They're, you know, like um, the plush. Like, I'm I'm not really a plush fan. So, while I can appreciate it's a cute baby Niffler, what am I supposed to do with it? What is anybody supposed to do with it? Like, put it on my bed? Like, I don't think that's going to work. Um, the socks. I mean, all right, I suppose. I'm, I, um... The teapot, I mean, I don't really, I'm never going to use it. It's, it's flat out, never going to use it. The wand, as cool as it is, that's, I have just a shelf with just all the wands in boxes that I get from all these places. So it'll just live up there. While, while I do think it's cool, I just don't know what I'm possibly going to do with it. The nesting dolls, again, like maybe that would live in the shelf. I don't know if it would replace anything, but I just, I don't know, I think I might have one more box on my current subscription, so we'll have to see. I think I'm gonna have to really knock it out of the park with that one. I don't know if I'll be uh, paying for this box anymore. I, um, I can appreciate the effort they put into it. I just, I don't feel like these items are meant for a collector such as myself. So with that being said, I guess we will be off and uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.